Welcome to Like Mother, Like Murder. I am Rachel. And I'm Heather. We bring you the good, the badass, and the crime. This is Like Like Mother, Mother, Like Like Murder. Murder. Welcome back to another episode of Like Mother, Like Murder in 2024. Yes, yeah, 2024. 2024. Happy New Year's. Happy freaking New a Year's. That is a what way a way to start. <laughs> oh my gosh, it is 2024. I feel like last year happened so quickly. So fast, right? Yes, yes, it was. There uh, was like so much it was so fast like whoa i feel like we were just recording our 2023 new year episode we did that we did that just the other day and now i know right i'm sure like so many of you guys feel the exact same way that year just went by way too fast but it's exciting so many good things happened We had Mm -hmm. so many new people join us. We got to collab with so many amazing people. It was a it was a great year, and we are hoping that twenty twenty four is just even even better. better. Heck yeah! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! (laughs) We are in sync. I think that we have some vibes going on. (laughs) With that said, happy New Year's, everyone! Um, today we have we have quite the episode for you guys. Yes. You already know that because you clicked it. But before that, before that, we got to talk some um, New Year's resolutions, okay? So first of all, we did a poll on Instagram seeing if you guys, if you are on our Instagram at like underscore mother underscore like, no, I can't even do it, you guys. I'm just like mother like murder with underscores in between. It's ridiculous. I feel like, 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 I don't know why underscore is so hard for me to... Say. It's really hard, but then also, why do you have to enter that? Because even when we created our YouTube, here's our YouTube drop, uh, YouTube starting right now. Yeah, Hello, buddy. YouTube Hello, Hello, YouTube in 2024. Yes. Um, <laughs> we had to do underscores there, too. So it is what it is. It is what it is. So um, weird. But... With that, if you were following, we did a poll there and, you know, one of the things was it was whether or not you did or do resolutions. And the first one was, do you do them? Yes, I do. Absolutely. The other one was, you know, I try, but then I never follow through or I give up or whatever. And then the other one is, I gave up on that shit so long ago. (laughs) And I was actually like shocked to see how even evenly all yeah. three of those were distributed right yeah. so like every single one had you know about five six people in each one saying like yes i do it i try or absolutely not for it <laughs> don't even try anymore so heather what about you do you make them do you do them so here's the thing um i used to make them and i feel like i used to have the energy to do them And now I feel that instead of doing like a resolution, like I will, I I kind of make it like a, let's think of this more as like a, like a vibe. Like, let's like, like, instead of being like my goal this year is to, or my resolution this year is to go to the gym two times a week and lose, you know, 20 pounds. Instead, I'm like, you know what, Heather? Our vibes are going to be healthier and stronger. So we're going to do what we can to go to the gym. And if we miss a week or two, like I did over the holidays, because... Holidays. 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 um, Then that's okay. And you shouldn't feel bad about it. So it's kind of just more like because I can't set those hard and fast goals anymore. There's just too much going on in my life, too much things that – and I, I'm a, I'm definitely like a competitive person, as are you, and very much so like competitive almost like with myself, you know, like, right. oh, like if you asked me, you know, five years ago, I could easily do that. And so right. like I can't continue to compare current Heather 
with like five years ago, Heather, right. because they are very different people, right? They are. With the very different goals, very different um, uh, priorities. So I do do them, but it's more like low key. So what, what's your what's your vibe <laughs> check right now? Like, have so, you set that? Okay, yes, I have. Um, because you told me last night, like, to hey, make that. sure you have, yeah, to set that. And I was like, I need to think about this because, and and I obviously like I needed to just in general. But so I'm so glad you reminded me that Heather, like, get your stuff together. It's 2024. Right. Um, <laughs> so my vibe this year is to continue. So I started the gym in like March, April of last year, and I have been pretty consistent. Yeah. Um, there's only been like a few weeks where I've missed. And um, I've tried to push through some hard times. Like, you remember when I was literally at the gym and I had, like, a crazy headache and you called me. And I was like, I'm going to try to push through. And I literally left 10 minutes after that because I was dying. Um, Which you have to listen to your body. Like, ultimately, number one, you have to listen to, like, what your body, what your mind is saying. 100%. So my vibe is to continue that. And I do have an actual, like, resolution, which is to do (laughs) three pull-ups. By the end of the year. Oh. That is what I'm going to set. So if anyone has any tips on how I can successfully do a pull-up, because I've been going to the gym for like nine months and I still like can't. Like I just can't do that. Um, to Tracy. Tracy. I know. I did. Us. I did. I was like reach. Um, But she, I need to maybe get one because she uses those like, um, Where I mean, like she can bust that. out. Yeah. Like she can bust out pull-ups like mm-hmm. this girl's freaking ripped but um she like those those band things right yeah but I'm like yeah. super scared to use one of those and just, completely like, like <laughs> oh no I'm scared that it's gonna do the opposite and like rubber band my ass like that's what <laughs> that's what I'm scared you don't of. want your rubber your ass to be rubber banded I want my ass to be <laughs> rubber just a nice band. spanking real quick <laughs> not with a rubber band <laughs> oh so gosh. um that is so my vibes this year is just and and I you also told me so is it is it I'm gonna I'm gonna spoiler alert this my word this year yeah, goes nice. with my vibe okay so last year we did this right we kind of had like yeah. a almost like a and so mine last year was like to be gentle with myself right because I was in a very rough space emotionally which I'm happy to say 2024 go. is going to be much better. Um, so strength is going to be like my word yeah, I love that. of the year. I love Both, that. you know, physically, because I'm going to continue to have my gym vibes and, and that kind of thing. But also emotionally, I want to be strong for my girls. I want to, yeah. um, you know, make sure that like that strength is physical and emotional and mental but I think that what I want to make sure I think about in terms of the word strength is that you can also remember that to be strong you also have to like rest and give yourself that time to recuperate because that also is a big part of building your strength I love that so there it is. That's yeah. my that's my vibes. That's my word. I love that's it. Okay. 2024. So since we've been focused on your things, tell us your podcast goal because we're going to talk about that as well. And then I'll okay. give you my three after. So my podcast goal is probably the same as last year because I was editing one of our more recent episodes. And I want to give myself some grace here in saying that this was an episode I recorded Um, with you while I was traveling that I had prepped like on my phone and I you know it was really and I but I probably said um so (laughs) and like in like the same yeah in the same it was always the same thing um so like yeah um so like and I completely was like Heather you need to cut it so Last year, I'm pretty sure that was also one of my goals was to stop saying um so freaking much. So I'm going to continue on for that goal. But my other goal is we've seen a lot of growth this year in terms of our numbers and just like there's a like. <laughs> going to pull that back. Um, 
in terms of getting new people to listen to the podcast, as much as I love our OG podcast crowd, our amazing friends and families and people we knew, you know, who really helped us start right. and, and right. get listeners, I am truly enjoying seeing perfect strangers, you yeah. know, listening and enjoying and and that is such and an awesome feeling. It. Yeah. And and reaching out and and so that is that is so awesome and I want to see more of that. I want to see more new listeners and of course keeping our old listeners because we love our OGs, but that growth and especially when it comes to like new people, new countries just reaching yeah. reaching um new people. So that's my podcast goal. Love my that. two podcast goals. Love that two goals. Because <laughs> that's like a personal and a podcast. Like <laughs> For sure. In one. All right. Let me see if I could do this kind of quickly so we could get into it because this one's going to be. I know. I'm fun. excited for that episode. Too. Um, so my personal resolution, which I don't usually like, even if I think I set them, I really don't. It's not something that I <laughs> sit there and think about. I had people like reach out. My friend Crystal asked me like a few times, like, what's your goal? What's your goal? Mm-hmm. I, I don't freaking know. I haven't even had time to think about it. You mm-hmm. know? Um, so I guess ultimately what I just decided is to slow down love that but focus on like one thing at a time so slowing down and focusing one thing at a time even last night I was texting Heather and she like apologized to me because she was busy and I wrote her and I said like you know, you you disconnected to connect. And that's what I want to do. Because I am the person who has my tablet, my phone, my computer, mm-hmm. all in my lap, my hands, everything. I'm having a conversation with my daughter. I'm watching something with Joel. I'm, you know, cooking dinner all at the same time. And yeah. no one is getting full of me, right? Yeah. Like my full attention, all of me at once. And so my resolution is to be there and to be able to connect more with what I am doing one thing at a time. I love that so much because, and it's so hard. And I think that that should be a goal for any mother. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Because, because the truth is, even if it's not your phone or even if it's not, you know, like whatever moms, we have this pressure on us to be everywhere at once and be, you know, be able to cook the dinner and clean the house and be with the kids and be right. a good mom with the kids and do you we have these these expectations to be able to do that that's humanly impossible and we need that connectedness with our kids and so i think but we do we have the pressure like you're sitting there trying to play with your kid and and give them your full 100 but your brain is like dinner's on the stove and there's dishes in the sink and oh I forgot to take out the trash and we also need this that and the other so I love that goal and I might try to also somehow work that into my strength mantra because that is it's (laughs) yeah it is it will it's gonna take a lot of it's gonna take a lot of muscle (laughs) to get that done because it's so ingrained in us to be all of the things and be everywhere at once. And so that is, that's going to take a lot of practice, but I love that for you. And I I think that's a great goal for, for you and for any mom out there to slow it down. And you realize that you don't need to be super mom. Even though, even if you try not to be super mom, you're still super mom. Exactly. Exactly. Like ring light is straight in my eyeballs. I'm like, get out of my eyeballs. Uh, <laughs> all right. I like so it because it looks like your your eyes have like, it yeah, it's, crazy. Be- it's beautiful. Um, anyways, my word. So I have been unable to actually like pinpoint what my word is. So I'm still working okay. on that and I will have it before I pop my bottle at New Year's um, tonight in a few hours. But... So my word has to do with the fact of kind of like more positivity, more like optimism. I have been more of like a glass half empty this year Mm. where I have focused a lot. Like if something happens, I dwell in it. I have focused so much on hard moments or negative things that have happened. And I'm I'm not usually that person. I don't want to be that person. I don't like that person. Right. And so I want to be able to have those things happen because they happen. 
But I want to be able to look past them and see whether, you know, all of the other things that are good in my life or Mm -hmm. what maybe that door closing, another door opening means, Mm -hmm. right? And so Mm -hmm. I haven't really been able to, like, pinpoint what the word is. That's a hard word. No, but for sure. But I get the vibe. I'm going to figure it out, you know? I'm going to find my word. So Almost like it. resilience, like bouncing back, but more like more so than that, like bouncing yeah. back and then trying to like get the positive. Like, like get I the, had the word you know? the other day and I was like, that's my word. And then it went And then away. it went out your head. Yeah. And I was like, ooh, at least like I knew the word. So I was like trying to like get it. It might, it might so. come back to you. Like yeah. you're going to be sitting there with your bottle and you're going to be like, pop. Both yeah. bottle and in your mind, the word's going to come. Pop that's what, that, that's what's going to, that's going to happen. All right, podcast goal. Are you ready for this one? I'm so ready. Okay, so I feel like this is our year of growth. Like we've talked about for it. Sure. Year two to three, like we're going to make it happen. We're going to hit 100,000 downloads. Okay. We're doing it. We're doing I'm it. Done. Like that's I just got, oh number. my God, Rachel, I just <laughs> got shivers when you said that, when you were like, we're going to do it. We're going to do it because, I mean, we've been growing and that's wonderful, but 100,000 downloads, that is my goal in... Um, I love it. The podcasting, uh, my podcast goal. So I love that's it. what that is. And the way that we're going to do that is this episode. Yes. <laughs> this episode is Boom. Like a hundred. Just we're going to get a hundred thousand on New Year. <laughs> I'm just, <laughs> I'm running out of the gate. <laughs> you know what? Heather is struggling. You guys. Sorry. You know what I think though is a good thing? Because you know how they say. So you know how they say, like, if you have a goal like that, you you post it on social media and you tell everybody about it because it makes you feel more accountable. But right. this is the nice thing about a goal like this is we can't do that on our own. No, it, it takes people, right? right? And yeah. so by us putting that goal out there and being like, look, this is what this is our our growth goal. This is what we want to be at. This is where we currently stand. I think we can get more uh what's the word I'm looking for? investment and like like, back and forth (laughs) and like I know I'm just moving my hands for any of you on YouTube if you get my (laughs) my drift here because I'm just waving my hands back and forth the doors opening but the other closing (laughs) (laughs) it's windshield wipers um No, what was I saying? I think because that goal involves other people by us putting it out there like you should with like a goal that you really want to do that's going to come back to us Right. So that's that's what it is. I love that goal. I totally got shivers when you told me that goal. I'm and about, I'm excited. Like, for it's going to happen. Right? Like <laughs> We're going to do it reasons. though. What yeah. do they say? Reach for the stars and land on the moon or something like Here that. I go. That's Here what I it is. 2025 <laughs> I'm landing on the moon. <laughs> okay. All right. You guys. You ready for this? I'm so ready cuz it's already I'm, 18 minutes, you guys. I know, but I'm excited for it. I'm super excited for it. And whole okay, so but really sorry, I'm gonna yeah. stop you. Everybody, if you have a word for or a vibe or a goal, personal, professional, vibe? like let us know it. Tell us what you think of our goals. If you wanna share in on our goals, let us know how your 2024 is going with that. And we truly wish you all the best. When it comes to your resolution, goal, vibe, word, whatever it is, 2024, yes. we're going to make it happen. I love that. You're so good. <laughs> You're so good. Um, so today I wanted to kick off the new year, obviously, with an ABC of crimes. You guys know that because you clicked it. Um, but this is kind of like one of those things where we've talked about it a lot And it is what it is, but today I'm bringing you the ABC of Crimes, Florida edition. Oh, no! (laughs) I'm so excited. So, you guys, I didn't know the theme. Rachel told me she was doing an ABC, and I was like, I wonder what she's going to do. Is she going to do, like, a a New Year theme? Because that seems really hard. Like, how is she going to do this? Oh, I'm ready for it, because Florida, you never fail to shock and awe. 
Right. And so it's like, we've done a few of these and every single time it's like those Florida ones hit. Like they, everyone is like, what is going on in Florida? But we know, we know what's going on. And I'm about to tell you a lot of what's going on. Okay. Are you ready? I'm so ready. All right. Everyone for YouTube. I pee a lot. Sorry, I have to pee. <laughs> Sorry, I tried, YouTube. I tried. I peed first. It doesn't Let's matter. get into it so that we can do the, the ABCs. YouTube, I'm going to keep you occupied while Rachel pees. Are you ready? Let me see if I can tell you a story. <gasps> Did I ever tell you the story of how I got licked? I'm pretty sure I told Rachel this story because it happened in college. Um, So, I went to a college theater performance as part of my theater class that I had to take in college at four credits. And, oh, Rachel's back. You guys are going to have to hear it another time. <laughs> Do it another time. Okay. <laughs> to be so. continued. Florida, here we come. So this is also going to be, like, Florida, like, bizarre. None of this is going to make your heart hurt. Good. Well, hurt too much. Okay. It might make your right. heart hurt. Like, what is wrong with people? <laughs> what is wrong with people? So we're starting with A. A, bay, bay. All right? And that's accidents happen. Uh-oh. A man at a bar in Pensacola, Florida, was showing off his gun to other people at the bar. Stop. At the, the bar? At the bar. He's just like, look what I've got. <laughs> In the video, it's not in a threatening way, okay? It's more of a, oh, look at me. I'm so cool. I have a gun, you know? And when he went to holster it, he shot himself. <gasps> <laughs> he shot himself right in the torso. He went to, to holster it. He's completely fine. He went to the hospital and was treated, you know, and hopefully they treated him for more than just the gunshot and for being a moron. Because Seriously. <laughs> Oh, my God. And, and hopefully the other thing is, like, they took away his ability to carry. I really hope no they did. no one who's out there, like, bragging about it should even have no. it in the first place. Um, but, yeah, that's how we're jumping off this episode. Oh, the, my God. This, makes like, literally is... It makes you think of what? Oh, from 8 Mile. <laughs> you know what it made me think of? It made me think of The Office when Dwight has the gun and he shoots oh the floor. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That's how we're starting that. What a way. What a way. Wow, right. dude. We're going to just start rattling. You ready? Florida. B. Okay. B's a balloon crime. <laughs> balloon. <laughs> this one's just plain idiotic, you guys. So two suspects were charged after a video went viral where balloons were being popped and going into the water of a Miami beach. They were on their boat releasing all of these balloons and they were going into the water dozens of balloons were seen <gasps> in the water floating away and it just baffled other bystanders who were out enjoying the water that day the two suspects it was a, it was a guy and a girl 26 and 29 were charged with felony disregard of the environment yeah those balloons yeah. are really bad for the environment florida yeah, that's with my turtles dude like seriously yeah so, oh my god! I'm so happy that they got charged with it, and it yeah, wasn't that's, just like yeah. a slap, slap on, on the, the wrist. wrist. Yeah. yeah, charge them. No balloons charge in the them. water. We know that. That's why I, whenever I see those um, gender reveals where they like yeah. shoot off all the balloons, I'm like, what are you doing with the balloon? Like, stop it! Right. That's I mean, bad we did a gender reveal once where they like lit up the side of a mountain so that's I mean, right i forgot about that one <laughs> seriously both of them are bad stop they're it they're both bad they're both bad just stop revealing your gender wait till you're at the hospital shut cut up cut into a cake just like who cares up. not a big deal stop being crazy all right c is for crazy no i'm just kidding that's too easy it can't be that easy because all of these like all of these are insane cream cheese crime okay <laughs> this isn't real. You made this up. No, listen to this. This is the headline, okay? Oh my Florida god. Florida man pulled gun at Starbucks over cream cheese. So the Starbucks worker, he they hand the man in the drive through his order. Well, he realizes that he didn't get the cream cheese for his bagel, okay? So he goes back through the drive through, starts yelling at the worker. 
she questioned him asking like, well, did you pay for the cream cheese with your order? Because, you know, you always yeah. have to pay the extra for It's the that extra cheese. like 75 cents or whatever. Pay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's when he got pissed, pulled a gun on her out of <gasps> anger. Look, look, I get mad as hell. You have seen, like, if you follow TikTok, you've seen me like pissed that they don't give me my mild <laughs> Hot sauce. Hot sauce. <laughs> I don't pull guns, but goodness gracious, okay? Also, the Starbucks worker was the daughter of the police chief, Oops. which is just kind of like a crazy coincidence. Either way, no one wants a gun pointed at them, especially over some cream cheese. That's cream cheese, y'all. It's not that important. Cream cheese. Pay like, seriously. Your cream cheese, like, simmer down. Wow. People wow. are crazy. That's like... Oh, only in florida like that's in that's absolutely insane florida take away your like concealed carry yeah Yeah, like Mm -hmm. that's just you no one if you live in florida you should not feel (laughs) period something something about the florida atmosphere just makes it way too dangerous y'all are too wild (laughs) but then at the same time those people are like i need to carry because of them wild ass bitches like (laughs) rachel i mean okay rachel just like a a, a, like a guesstimate how many of these are gun related people in florida i don't know i probably got like six more (laughs) the alphabet is not that so many we're only on c and i've done two oh man (laughs) okay d not gun related this is dr love a man in West Palm Beach, Florida, was arrested for acting like a doctor. Oh, he God. was known as Dr. Love. He had an office, a lab coat, a stethoscope, all the things. He was arrested on fraud and grand theft after impersonating a doctor, right? So patients came forward saying that he had claimed he was an MD, had all these degrees in his practice. He was only 18 years old at the time, scamming people out of their money. He says he never claimed he had those things or degrees and that he was practicing as a naturopathic physician. He ended up (gasps) serving 21 months in jail. He would scam people out of like $35,000 at a time. Yeah. Yeah. 18 at the time. I think he went to jail when he was like 25. So it took years of doing this. That's crazy. But I'm just like, oh my gosh. And he's, you know, I feel bad. Like he straight up like in his statement is so apologetic and like, yeah, he was saying like I never told them I was an MD. I said yeah. I was a naturopathic yeah. physician. Yeah. you know, like oh my gosh, yeah. <gasps> so this guy, y'all, yeah, this one's insane. Are you ready? No. <laughs> what do you think E is for? Velociraptor. <laughs> You've just been waiting. You've just been waiting. Wait for V, baby. Wait for <laughs> EpiPen. Oh no. Two sisters were drinking together, and things got a little bit out of hand. Both sisters ended up drinking to the point of getting drunk, and one of the sisters ended up stabbing the other sister with an EpiPen a few times, yelling that she's allergic to drunks. (laughs) When the authorities talk to her, she straight up says, we were drinking, I don't like drunk people, I'm allergic to drunks. (laughs) That's like... She said, what's the big deal? <laughs> she stabbed her sister with an Emmy pen. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> oh my gosh. You know what? Like, I, mm, I'm surprised mm-mm. my dad's never stabbed me with an Emmy pen. <laughs> I'm allergic to you. <laughs> God, imagine oh. being the sister, though. The stabby, so like funny. your sister's just staring at you. I'm allergic yeah. to drugs, bitch. And she like, stabbed her like stabbed. a few times. So like, oh my she god, said that she had, like, welts in her leg. I don't know where else she stabbed her. Like she's fine, you know. Dang. But still, like, I hope she was drunk to the point where she didn't like feel it too bad. Okay, you know that ready. like in in ten years those sisters are gonna be like, huh, remember that time I remember stabbed you with the epipen? <laughs> Look, she has like an epipen restraint now. Like you can't have it. Like, <laughs> No conceal to carry. Banned. <laughs> Guns and EpiPens banned in Florida. Seriously, everything's banned in Florida after this episode. <laughs> Next one is fireworks. F for oh, fireworks. No. Oh, no. Or lack of fireworks. This was, you know, this is not a crime where the person was arrested, but I couldn't not add this because it's so okay. funny. <laughs> so a Florida man was very obviously annoyed 
with the neighborhood, all of the people in his area setting off fireworks. I feel that, man. I feel that. How many times, like, it's like June and everyone's setting off I fireworks for three so, weeks before. You know, and I just realized it's about to be New Year. I mean, where you when this drops, you guys, it's yeah. past New Year, but we're literally recording this on, on New Year's we Eve. Are. Yeah, we're um, And I am so already irritated because i swear for the next three months i'm gonna hear fireworks three months like it's gonna happen see it's I'm so the opposite. annoying like i feel like so i'm okay with today it's the fact that i feel like things before fourth of july it's like everyone has a party for like the three weeks before and i'm tired like i'm a tired girl but it is what it is this one's hilarious a florida man was like i said so annoyed with the people so at 3 a.m on the fourth of july his neighbors got a surprise fireworks show he went outside going up and down the street yelling, I'm a firework! Boom! Boom! Firework! I'm a bottle rocket! Yeah! <laughs> the people, they, there was like ring videos of like them telling him like, shut up! And he's like, I'm a bottle rocket! Boom! <laughs> that would be me! I would die! <laughs> I was reading this, like, I was crying. I was like, I understand, like, his pain. I totally do. And that is my petty ass vibes. I would walk on, oh, you don't like fireworks? Yeah. Boom, bitch. Mm-hmm. In your- <laughs> my shirt is just going to say, I'm a firework. Boom. I'm a bottle rocket, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that, that's my new. My new uh, phrase for uh, screw strength. My new phrase for 2024. I'm a bottle rocket, bitch. Hey, <laughs> bottle rockets are strong. You could be strong and a bottle rocket. You've got this. Okay. That is hilarious. So, oh my God. We're moving on. And, and oh. this next one comes with a photo. So if you guys okay. are following YouTube, and if you're not, go follow our YouTube channel. Um, There will be some photos. But this one, so this one's actually G is for Good Samaritan. Oh. So like he didn't it. commit the crime. Good for guy, you, Florida. But he did find some shit. Uh-oh. So a guy was out snorkeling in the Florida Keys when he came across a large black bag in the water. Drugs. He's out there looking for fish and marine life, and instead he finds 68 pounds of coke. Knew it. Valued at $1.5 million. (gasps) Could you imagine finding this in the ocean? If you guys are on YouTube, you guys see it. I'm holding it up. Oh, my God. (laughs) Dude. He was compensated for his He better have been. They needed to give him like 10% of the the value of that money right there. Yeah, right. He said he found 68 pounds. That dude found 70 pounds. (laughs) It was 1.7 million. <laughs> oh, but yeah, man. so he called, he turned Good it for in, you, and like, sir. Here you go. Because we don't need that getting out in the ocean and we, we don't need that getting out on land. So I wonder if he good even for knew you, like, sir. what it was. Um, I'm sure he did. Gentleman. Anyone in Florida, if you're a diver and you run across a black bag in the ocean, you for sure know that it's drugs. That's true. That's true. I was going to say, and the older you are, the more coke you've done. Oh, sorry. Is that? <laughs> no? Okay. Uh, oh, she's dying. She's cackling. You guys, this next one is really sad. This is actually one of the ones that broke my heart. Um, H is for hoarder. Okay? Oh, no. And hoarder is hoarder of animals. This one kills me because what is wrong with people? So a 75-year-old woman was arrested on animal cruelty and animal neglect when 309 animals were seized from her mobile home. (gasps) Her mobile home. 309, okay? 164 birds. Oh, my gosh. 142 cats. Oh, my and gosh. three dogs were taken. No. There was a lethal <clears throat> amount of ammonia. Yeah. This is one of those, like, horrific hoarding situations, okay? And it's it's so sad because I try to think of, like, the best of people, and I feel like there was, like, a time because they said, like, she really – her daughter was there when they came to, like, 
take all the animals. And yeah. My daughter was like, she really does just want to like help these animals, right? Yeah. But when you have that much, and you're in not this helping state, anymore. In this yeah. situation, in this home, <clears throat> the pictures are horrific. Ooh. Horrific. It's it's just so sad. Um. It was not a good situation. So no. don't do that. You guys no. stop. And actually, that makes me think another goal for 2024. I'm not going to get any more animals, y'all, because last year I probably got at least like 10 more. Rachel. And I don't need to turn into this lady. I think maybe your goal instead of no animals should be like less animals than 2023. Because no, I'm not getting rid of any. Hey, No, I mean, no, no. I mean, don't do 10. Maybe only get five. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Well, I don't need any more. Trust me. I know you cold. don't, but knowing you knowing and me. now who you live with, it's... Yeah, in. that's true. I mean, we bring home fish every day, but that yeah. doesn't really count, does it? <laughs> it counts, Rachel. <laughs> oh, then I have a lot more than 10 animals. Okay. <laughs> the next one has a picture for you. I is for... Velociraptor. <laughs> iguana oh this is like one of those only in florida moments okay oh god when i was reading this i was like no fucking way a 56 year old said he heard noises coming from his bathroom when he went in there he saw an iguana in the toilet he attempted to get it out with a pool net but it ended up going down into the toilet a little more the iguana like after it was in his toilet for three days okay three days because it. it went in when you see this iguana, it's going to be in your toilet for three days, too, because you're not ah, getting it, okay? I just, I just got shivers. I don't want an iguana in my toilet. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> nope. 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 Toilet shut. Door closed. I just can't Off my, my limits. Phone. I'm so sorry. Off Absolutely limits. not. No. Why is he so scary looking? That's not like that the cute the iguana scariest. I was thinking of. No, it's not. It's not. It was a huge iguana, you guys. The iguana had started to come out of the, the toilet, right? And the man actually grabbed it with his hands. Okay. <gasps> he grabbed it. He pulled it out and then apparently dropped that bitch because it is crazy I- if you see the photo. <laughs> and then he was able to shoo it out of the house. But ultimately, <sighs> like... This is not something you ever hear of in California. No, like no, you don't hear of iguanas no. coming out of your. So toilet. is this like, like a wild iguana? Like, do they have wild iguanas in Florida? Like, is this just do. a thing? Yeah, <laughs> no, no, I just got shivers. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. You guys, this iguana is crazy looking. It doesn't even look like an iguana. It looks that like looks a dragon. Like a, that looks like a scary ass. Look at him with his mouth and he's like, screw you. I'm sitting in your toilet. Imagine. He's if, probably smiling at you. So, he's, no, look. he's screaming at me. Imagine Smile. if. <laughs> stop looking. Stop showing me that. <laughs> like, imagine it's middle of the night. You know, no. when it's middle of the night, I don't turn the light on to pee. I just sit on the toilet. Oh my God. And then all of a sudden you just feel or hear something in your toilet. Yeah. No. <sighs> Not happening. <sighs> all right. Ready? No, that iguana freaked me out. We're done with the iguana. The iguana's in the past. Okay. Okay. Don't, when you travel to Florida, make sure you check your toilet. I'm never traveling to Florida anymore. Crocodiles and iguanas, not happening. If I would have done like an awful, like a sad, like murder and crime one, the amount of alligators involved yeah. is seriously. Tragic. All right. J is for jump scare. Uh oh. J- 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 jump scare. Two j- friends j- j- went on a fishing trip. One of the friends. He went into the woods and he was changing his clothes and he was hiding from the other friend because he wanted to scare him. (laughs) The other friend had went to the car to get something and he was on his way back um, when the friend jumped out to scare him. And then he shot. He got so scared he shot his friend in the stomach. I (laughs) know. His hand, guys. Shot his friend in the stomach. Okay. The friend's fine. He ended up in the hospital. They were able to patch him up. Heal him, <laughs> but sheesh, you guys, stop <laughs> carrying Don't guns stop. like if you're jumpy, like I could never. You need okay, first of all, Florida, seriously, stop with the freaking guns. And second, why any. And also, if your friend is carrying a gun, maybe don't jump don't scare, scare them. Up. Don't scare them. Yeah, I, oh my I god, 100% would probably be that person. That if you scared me, you'd get shot. So I'm oh. not. I'm not carrying. Oh, yeah. 
also just just lay off Florida. Of yeah. Like- <laughs> <laughs> That's it is so funny. Not oh, funny, but man. so funny. Oh, oh look. I forgot to do K. <laughs> My K is empty. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, That's my bad. K is for. K is for. K is for. K, Florida. Yeah. Okay, Florida. <laughs> Trust me. I stretch enough on some other ones. We don't need to stretch right here. I just totally <laughs> forgot K. Whoopsies. Uh, L is for mm-hmm. leaving your kids in the car. Stop it. Don't do it. Stop Don't this. do it. We've actually used stuff like this in the past because yeah. this is actually common and it shouldn't be common. You guys got to stop doing this, okay? Um the <sighs> A Florida mother was arrested last month when her 7-year-old daughter went into the bar looking for her after she was left in the car for a long period of time. Stop doing it. Stop doing it. She Woman. leaves her seven-year-old in the car to watch a movie, goes into the bar. First you of all, you're joking? going to the bar, and it's like, then you plan on driving with your seven-year-old in the Seriously? car? Like, all of this is bad. So stop doing this dumb shit. That you poor imbeciles. baby. So, yeah. And the oh fact that she gets God. out of the car to go in there. Like, what did her mom say? Like, oh, I'm just going to go in for 30 minutes. <sighs> and then the daughter, like, what? However, for a long period of time, it said. I can't imagine, like, the heartbreak of that poor baby girl. Yeah. Oh. It is awful. Um, Don't fucking do that, people. Want another gun crime? Yes. Florida. This one. This one is M. Where do you think this happened? The only thing that's coming to my mind is Milwaukee. And oh, that's not no. in Florida. <laughs> Florida. <laughs> Magic Kingdom. Magic Kingdom. Oh. Nope. McDonald's. Oh, Magic Kingdom. That'd be sad. McDonald's crime. A 56-year-old man called the cops three times because they messed up his burger order. <laughs> I mean, at <laughs> least he didn't. Oh, just kidding. This is not a gun crime. I'm sorry. Because I say at least he didn't pull a gun on the worker. <laughs> but trust me, there's more guns to come. So just wait for it. Um. <clears throat> calls the cops and when they come the dude is yelling at the workers about his order they tell him he needs to leave but he says he's not leaving until they fix his damn burger okay when they tell him again he needs to leave he says well you're gonna have to arrest me if you <gasps> need to leave the cops are like okay sounds good like you sounds great i will do that so yeah. when searching him he had some weed in his pocket and then he proceeds to tell the cops to be careful because he also <laughs> has cocaine up his asshole <laughs> They end up arresting him, but in the arrest, they say that they they did not release whether or not he actually had coke up his butt. You know how, you know what I'm thinking is just like, so you know how um, when cops are going to like pat you down, they say, you don't have anything that dangerous that'll stick me or hurt me or anything, yeah. like needles, but knives, da 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 I love that he goes, well... Yeah. Yeah. And and I, I love that they didn't release it, so I'm wondering if this guy was totally just joking and being And like, he just wanted to tell them I got head. cook up my ass. Yeah. Yep. So that's Florida what the fuck? Also, I'm i I'm reading this to you and my daughter's standing in the doorway and I'm like, Oh, oh that's no. Great. She's gonna go Kenzie, out there and be like This is this is not appropriate. Kenzie, get out. She's gonna think it's like a full on bottle, like a two liter up someone's bottle. <laughs> Okay, and only in Florida, <laughs> naked crimes. Oh, no. A Florida man was lying naked in the street. An officer showed up, and when he went to check on the man, the man ended up running to his vehicle and stealing his cop car. He drove off with the police vehicle and crashed it in a wooded area. <laughs> 
<laughs> this 22 year old idiot was what? arrested on charges of theft, aggravated battery, depriving an officer of means of communication or protection, and resisting an officer. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so as bad as that dude is, he was clearly like on one being naked yeah. and then stealing a cop car. You know that cop is never gonna live that down. No. Never. Like they're gonna they are going to like rip on him so hard for being the dude that got his cop car stolen by a naked guy. By a naked guy. And you have to sit in that seat after that naked guy. <laughs> Also, when Gross. I was coming home from, <laughs> when I just came to California, I was coming home, we were driving, and we looked over, and there was a, a guy on the side of the road shitting, and, and it was very lovely to see, so just thought I would what, share that with you, all of you guys. Back in Kentucky? Yeah. Oh, well, welcome welcome back to Kentucky. Well, we don't see stuff like that here, so yeah. I think I brought that piece of California back <laughs> with me, apparently. All right, moving on. Oh, you ready for a stretch? Yes. Out of his mind. (laughs) Some of these are so hard, guys. It's all right. Deal with me. Okay? Okay. A Florida man is out of his mind, in my opinion, um, when he has the nerve to steal engagement rings (gasps) from one of his girlfriends to propose to another one of his girlfriends. Oh, my God. So this guy was engaged to one woman, right? That woman found out that her fiance proposed to another girl. She sees it online. And in the Facebook post, she sees the ring that she's wearing. And she goes, oh, my God, that looks very much like my old engagement ring when she was married before. She had it in her jewelry box. So she goes to her jewelry box, finds that her old engagement ring was stolen as well as other jewelry, necklaces, Stop. other a grandmother's Stop. ring that she had, and it was gifted to this new girl. Oh my yes. god! So he was stealing stuff from his one he was engaged to to engage to another girl. Dude, do that, uh, yeah, scumbag. scumbag. Oh my god, dude. <sighs> People are crazy. Could you imagine looking on Facebook and being like, "That's my dude. I wait, that's cannot. my dude." Wait. That's, That's my ring. My ring. <laughs> I know. Oh, my God. Okay. This one, P is for presents. And this is a, a, a update. Update. This is a very Uh-oh. much needed update because the Christmas episode of The Good, The Badass, and The Crime, <gasps> if you listened, I tell the story of a mother having all of her shopping <laughs> done, okay, wrapped uh, under the tree. I think that I featured her in my badass mom segment because e- I can't do that. I can't do that. I yeah. don't do that. Okay? Yeah. But I thought, oh, she's a badass. And what was sad about it is all of her stuff. She said the Grinch came in and stole her shit. <laughs> well, that didn't happen. And that mother was arrested because she's a big fat liar. And she had totally just tried to get people to pay for the gifts. And that makes me really freaking mad. So you just can't trust anyone. She's a big fat liar. And I don't like her. So... <laughs> I say so really quick. Yeah. So we recorded this episode and then I edited yeah. it and then I was um Trying getting to ready to post it. it and stuff and then I was looking I was looking up the names to to try to add them and when I saw the I was like wait is this the right case and then I read it and I was like oh my god this is the right case and I sent it to Rachel and I'm like Rachel oh no I got scammed guys <laughs> you got scammed no one is good. everybody got Everybody got scammed though. Yeah. Man. We don't like her. We don't like her. Stop being a liar. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You should have seen me like in my feelings when I was like writing that because I was like, you big fat liar. Yeah. Don't get my emotions. I can believe you. <laughs> I don't like you very much. <laughs> uh, especially because I thought you were awesome for a minute. I know. <laughs> we take it all back. All right. Q. <laughs> Uh-oh. Nah. <laughs> I couldn't find anything. I want to take a moment right here to just ask everyone who's listening to start sending ideas for ABC of Crime Editions you'd like to hear. Or just sending in bizarre stories that you find in the headlines. Okay, thanks. Moving on to an easier letter. Or, Heather, this one is going to make oh you, God. like, cackle. You're okay. Don't take a drink. Okay. 
I know. I almost spit my drink out like two times yeah, already. Don't. This is R is for razor crime. Like a scooter razor or like a shaver razor? Shaver. Heather, this one just screams to me. A woman and her ex-husband were driving. While she was driving in the driving seat, the ex-husband was steering the car from the passenger seat so that she could shave. Yeah, shave. Not her underarms. Her lady bits. Okay. (gasps) She was shaving herself while in the driver's seat while her ex-husband is steering. Okay? Okay. They end up crashing into the back of a pickup truck. Well, no shit. <laughs> Ouch. First of all, could you imagine shaving and... I don't like the thought of that, okay? <laughs> Just couldn't imagine. But guess what she said? What? She was actually on her way to meet up with her boyfriend. She wanted to be ready for the visit. <laughs> Wait. Hold on. Stop it. Okay, she's in the driver's seat. She's like, oh, I need to shave my lady bits. Yeah. Ex-husband, for whatever yes. reason, is in passenger seat, yes. steering for her, yes. t- bringing her to her seemingly yes. hookup with her boyfriend. Yes. Does he All know he's things. driving her to a hookup with the boyfriend and that's why she's shaving her lady bits? I don't know. <laughs> why are you driving? Get in the passenger seat and shave. Okay, lady... So many thoughts in my head. It was like one of those things where it just couldn't even like get even like I was like, oh, my God, why is she shaving her vagina in the car? And then to know she wasn't in the passenger seat, she was in the driver's seat and then to crash into the back of a pick truck or pickup truck. And then to say, yeah, I was on my way to like meet up with a boyfriend. I wanted to be ready. Well, your ex-husband's driving. All of these things. What the hell? No, I'm just kidding. God. That probably happens in a lot of other states. Because I would hope driving. not. I would hope it doesn't happen anywhere. But wow. All what right, the everyone, heck? write in. Have you guys ever shaved your hoo ha while you're driving? I can <laughs> honestly say I've never shaved my hoo ha while driving. To shave my... <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. <sighs> okay. S. Guess. <sighs> Guess what S is? Shaving. No, that's oh, razor. razor. <laughs> okay, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay. Velociraptor. Velociraptor. <laughs> Sp- Velociraptor. No, but this is also crazy. Sword f- swordfish crime. Swordfish. Yikes. Swordfish. Yikes. Swordfish. Swordfishes. Two men were arrested and charged with aggravated battery after drunk fighting in a marina. The two with started swordfish? fighting. Things got pretty physical. One of the men hits the other guy upside the head with a beer bottle. And so in return, the man grabbed the bill of a swordfish and stabbed the man with it. The (sighs) county sheriff officer of this area said, we don't see this kind of thing very often. (laughs) Don't lie. Don't lie, man. You You see that shit all the time. (laughs) You're a cop in Florida. Swordfish fights are common. Wait, so was this swordfish alive or Dead no, or he actually just had the the bill of the swordfish. Stop like, it! Has, like something on his boat. And oh and my it. god! <sighs> oh my god! <sighs> okay. <laughs> just Hit me with a beer bottle. I'll stab you with a swordfish. <laughs> All right. That's insane. That's ridiculous. Oh, the next one, I got a picture for you. Okay. This one's called tattoo crime. Uh, T is for tattoo crime. Uh oh. All right. This one's not really about the tattoo, though, okay? But it's still a factor. <laughs> <laughs> so, Florida man gets arrested for m- misusing 911. <laughs> so, a man repeatedly called 911 because he needed a ride home. <laughs> I kept telling him no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're busy, right? So, he kept Especially calling in saying Florida. that he needed to be picked up. Like, okay. he just wouldn't stop calling. So they finally pick him up. Well, they took him to the jailhouse. It's dead. But <laughs> <laughs> like you said, it's Florida. They have enough going on. Yeah. They're not your Uber, my friend. Yeah. But the best part is that this man had Florida tattooed on his forehead. Stop. This guy, you guys, I'm holding up a picture. This guy has a, a, oh, it's hard to see it. Let me do better. Hold on, everybody on YouTube. Oh, right in the middle of his forehead? That's not a real tattoo. 
That's not real. <laughs> That's a real tattoo. That's he has the real. state of Florida. Tattoo Why? In the Why? Of his forehead, guys. Why? Because he's crazy. Oh my he's god! That's so funny. Why? Like, right in between his eyebrows, he's got Florida. Florida. I mean, get tattoos all you want. Don't put it between your eyebrows, like the state of well, Florida. And why? Yeah, that's just not. I shouldn't even say anything. Michael has California tattooed on him. Yeah, not on his forehead. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> he also doesn't call 911 for an Uber, so it's fine. <laughs> it's allowed if you don't call 911 as an Uber. Okay? All right. You. Oh, man. Okay. I stretched on this one. Okay. <laughs> You've got me fucked up. <laughs> with a you, though. You know? Like, that doesn't got me even start up. with you. Obviously stretched. <laughs> so this one, I want a fighter. And this one is another one that breaks my heart. Oh, no. That's why it's oh, got no. me real messed up. A Florida woman was arrested for stomping on a sea turtle's nest. <gasps> That's all I have to say about that. I hope she lives in jail for the rest of her life because she makes me really super freaking mad. Why? Yeah. Stupid That's lady. That's a bad person. That's, That's so a- mean. I'd rather you have a Florida tattoo on your forehead than do any <laughs> stupid shit like that. Seriously. Like, do that. Oh, my God. Yeah. No. Rude. That's just messed up. I hope. Not that I, I mean, I don't, but like at the same time I do, I hope that's like an endangered sea turtle or something and she has to go to jail for like a really, really, really long time. Like I said, I hope she has to live there. Yeah. She's older too. Like, I don't even care. Take your little Die there. Ass, sit on it. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Okay. Rude. What letter did we make it to? T U. Well, is it U or Y? U. V. U was V. You got me fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> v. Velocity out there! Velocity out there! If you guys have not listened to the ABC of Crimes, the OG ABC of Crimes, go back, listen to episode eight. Okay. Velociraptor. <laughs> you're welcome, everybody. You'll love that. You'll love that episode. It's not Velociraptor. I couldn't find a Velociraptor crime, believe it Sorry. or not. Um, this one is voting crimes. Uh-oh. It's not your typical voting, but mm-hmm. what happened is a mother-daughter duo ended up hacking into the computers. And the voting system of the 17-year-old daughter's high school. She wanted to be prom queen. And casted 117 more votes for the daughter so that she could win homecoming queen. Oh, it is not that serious, you it's guys. Not that serious. It's, it's not happen. that serious. They could serve up to 16 years for this crime. Good. This stuff. Okay, good. But also, the, <laughs> the crime sentencing panel needs to come up with some stuff. Because, yeah, that's petty. Yeah, you shouldn't do that. But other people are being released on I know. Shit. It's true. There's and more I'm serious like, crime yeah. that has less, like... Mm. Less less sentencing than that. Yeah, that's a problem. But like, hmm, wh- like, it's not that serious. Not. No. Oh my god, it's not. Right. Is because this is what I think. If that is like that is where you're starting in high school to 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 lie and cheat. Just imagine where she'll be when she's like thirty. Like because for some petty ass shit, she's gonna like do like that's just Other you guys. Shit. No. And shame on the mother. Shame on the mother for yeah. helping her. The, the you need to set a better ex- school principal. Stop! So it's like, I hope she got like. Yeah, no, she can't be an administrator for children when she's no. doing that kind of bad behavior. Nope. Shame on you. Shame on you. Shame on you, Florida. W. Wedding crime. Oh, no. All right. So a couple in Florida plan their wedding. Okay. They sent out invites, got excited and ready for their big day. Their wedding was being held at a beautiful mansion. But when guests started to show up, the owner of the property called the police saying that there were people trespassing because apparently the engaged couple to be married never actually booked this as a venue for their (gasps) wedding. They were just (laughs) telling people to show up there. (laughs) What did they think? That they could just have a wedding? They were telling the owner of the mansion that it was God's plan and it was <gasps> God's mess 
message for them to be Ooh, This is full layout Trump yes. vibes. Yes. Exactly. Oh my As god. Oh my gosh. God be telling people to do some wild stuff, man. Um, <laughs> the police escorted them out. They were like, okay, well, God should tell you to go. God's new message is other. to get married at the jailhouse because that's where you're headed. Yeah. They they did not get arrested. The The guy didn't, like, end up pressing charges. But, yeah, he's just, like, at home. And all these people start showing up to his property. And he's like, no, that's not happening. And this was a mansion. Imagine. I mean, crazy. Stop. Imagine being like one of the guests, like, oh, like, um, like maybe they sent out legit, like, real, like, invitations, right? And imagine being the guest and walking up and being like, we're about to be at this really nice yeah. wedding. And the guy's yeah. like, you're not here. Like, what? Seriously. That would be insane. Yeah. Seriously. Oh, my God. X. X. Did you come up with something for X? I was going to say. X is for, excuse me. <laughs> I swear some of these letters are so hard. I have it in capital, too. I have excuse me. I got a picture for you for this one because this one's funny. There was a, a wanted woman. She had a lot of felonies out in numerous different states. Um, and currently she was wanted for selling fentanyl. And they went to her home, and they found her hiding inside of her couch. What? This is how they took this lady out. Oh, <gasps> how can <I> see this? <laughs> <laughs> she was hiding inside of her couch, you guys. I can't make this up. I can't make this up, you guys. <laughs> do that i love i love that the cop like whoever's like snapping the picture her. right now like you know how are they i i wonder how hard it is for them not to be like laughing right now inside of her couch. she looks ridiculous <sighs> dang lady oh my god yeah yeah all right <laughs> why okay this is You've got me fucked up part two, but with a why this time. Oh, right. no. A Florida woman tried to bring a four-foot boa constrictor on the plane with her. Why? She a snake right through TSA in her carry-on. Stop! When she was caught, she said it was her emotional support animal. Listen, if I was on a damn plane and some lady snakes on a plane, snakes on a plane. (laughs) No, I would lose my mind. Stop! And I don't have a problem with snakes, but I can't be on a plane like sitting with someone snake right by me. Well, and wouldn't the the TSA X ray thing be bad for the snake? Like, lady. So I think this lady was crazy. Clearly, clearly. Yeah, she straight up put that thing through the computer system. It's her emotional support snake. That's a snake, right? Oh, imagine being the guy like behind the computer, just like uh, uh, get the water from that one. Uh, uh. That's not real. It's moving. Like moving. Yeah, that's not a stuffy. Like, oh my god, four foot boa constrictor. It wasn't even like a small, like little king snake type thing either. I don't like that at all. Why, lady? All right. Z. So everything I'm finding for Z is horrific. Oh, no. From a toddler shooting their mom during a Zoom call. I looked up zombie Florida, and apparently people are eating people's faces. And it's what? known as a zombie murder. Oh so I'm going to leave it at that. Florida. Florida. Yeah, Florida's got a lot going on. My Do better. Friends, so there you have it. This is the ABC of Crimes Florida edition. Woo! <laughs> That that did not fail to completely Florida. I didn't think you could shock me any more than you already have. We've been doing this podcast for a year and a half now, and I did not think there was anything else you could throw at me, Florida. But yet again, you've done it. You've you've shocked and yeah. uh, disgusted and just. 
Good job, Florida. Good, Good job, job for Florida. you. <laughs> On so many of those levels. Yeah, like I said in that last thing, this episode could have went a completely different direction. And I was like, no, no, we're keeping it like this. We got to keep I it a little light. Let's start the, the new year off in a in a lighthearted fashion. For and sure. And moving forward, we will, you know, continue with our our regularly, regularly scheduled, scheduled programming. Yeah. There you go. But there you guys have it. Happy, happy New Year's, everybody. Rachel, that was such a good job. Let me just say, I love when you bring those ABCs because I die every single time. And I almost like the ones where you can't come up with a a letter and you have to stretch (laughs) because those are hilarious. Excuse me. (laughs) Excuse me. You've got me fucked. You. With a you and then with a Y. Yeah. Um, you have to because some of those are freaking hard, man. I love how you didn't hard. even try on Q and you just said, said that. No. no, I did try on Q. The only one apparently I didn't try on was K because I totally forgot it. I didn't even go back that far and look at it. Oh, I knew I had to do K, Q, like you D-W-X and you. Like that. And I was like, okay, like, okay, whatever. No, it was hard. But it could have been an okay. You're okay. crazy, Florida. <laughs> yeah, I could have, but I didn't even think about it. it That's it's, hilarious. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. Yeah. I love yeah, it. Have it. Yeah, yeah. I love it. So Great job, Rachel. You all loved it. You know, we we need to know if you guys also enjoy these episodes. Yes. Um, either whether or not you do, we do. So they're going to be coming. Yeah, uh, they're but still coming. If you do, and you have an idea for for a, a theme, theme yeah. or you know, edition. Please send them our way because this is one of those things. This is kind of like our little palate cleanser. This is kind of our little, you know, fun one we add in there. Um, yeah, send them, send them our it's way. It's a great way to start the saying. new year. It's a I great agree. way. Hopefully, this jump started, kicked off your new year with some resolution talk in the beginning, and then just For sure. an episode to make you just not do any of these things in 2024. Please. New Year's resolution: Don't do these things. Agreed. All right. <laughs> Don't do these things. Except it. Except the one guy who found the bag of cocaine. Go ahead and yeah. if you find the cocaine, turn it in. Yeah, that's true. That's a good idea. That's true. That's true. <laughs> there you guys have it. Um, but don't yeah. hide in a couch because that's just don't not a flattering a look. <laughs> and make sure if you guys have not yet, go subscribe to our YouTube channel. This will be up there for you guys to see us in all of our glory of all of our crazy facial expressions. Uh-huh. Uh me. And hand gestures. Hand gestures. Me <laughs> leaning off screen to cough up my lungs because I'm just <laughs> fully congested after traveling. And um, there you have it, though. But And happy freaking New yes. Year. Happy freaking New Year, everybody. Happy freaking New Year. We love you guys. Happy to have you in 2024. And, and we will be back next week with some more of that like mother like murder. And uh, we look forward to bringing everyone along with us for 2024. Yes, we do. All right. We will talk to you guys <laughs> next week. Okay, love you. Bye. Okay, love you. Bye. That could have been your K. Okay, love you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good. Uh, peace out. Right, I think I hacked in. We're on the air? Shh, security's outside. But how's my hair? It's a radio station. Psst, psst. You guys hear about the Beyond the Shadows podcast with Ryan and Scott? You guys into paranormal? What about true crime? How about UFOs and cryptids? We also have mad hauntings. We got security. No, we don't. We're not big enough to need it yet. No, we got security. Hey, what are you guys doing? Get out of here.
Listen to the Beyond the Shadows podcast. Beyond the Shadows.